What's up, B2 Capital G here? Got a pretty cool door for you guys to check out. This one is going to show off even more of why Grinder Golem needs to get the heck out of the game of Yu Gi Oh! Konami. Just ban this card already. It's going to be a very strange ending to this duel, and it's going to end pretty abruptly at that. Not going to give you guys any more information than that, otherwise, I'll spoil the ending of the duel. We got Jack Knights at the bottom, Shino Birds at the top. Uh, Jack Knights, I'm not sure about this build because I don't really think Flickering Flame is good, but I guess. I guess it kind of works because you know extreme force this the, the archetype only has one set of support so i guess you can kind of mess around and put everything in the deck shino birds on the other hand uh i mean it was an interesting concept i don't think it really worked all that well ritual monsters and you know spirits being combined into one deck but it's whatever we'll go ahead and uh, roll this because we've already set the duel up all right it's going to open with aratama and I believe he's going to go Pot of Desires. Don't usually see that in Rituals, but he gets Preparation of Right, so definitely worked out for him. He's going to summon Peacock, and uh, that's really weird. Like, I don't think... You usually don't see people Ritual Summon Shino Bird Monsters turn one because opponent doesn't have any cards on the field, so a little bit of a, a risky play there, but it's fine because he has Brilliant Fusion, sends Nikitama to the Graveyard, which gets him a draw for a plus, uses the second Normal Summon for Manju. So even though he took some next, he ends up getting some pluses, but then he consolidates his monsters, into Deco Talker, which is powered up by two tokens. So that definitely worked out for me. So has four cards in hand. I'm going to say that he did pretty well turn one. Jack Knights are going to fire back with Azure Blue. I believe he's going to switch up the zones, and he's probably going to try and get rid of those tokens, which is unfortunately a shame for him. He's going to get Twin Twistered, and he's going to lose that Deaths of the World Legacy. That is uh, very important because obviously that is the skill drain of sorts for the Jack Knight archetype, uh, especially if you have the more monsters you have on the field, the better this card becomes it just locks out your opponent's columns or monster effects it's too good anyways so he puts three monsters on the board I believe you should see another Peacock summon here. Yeah, this time Peacock is going to find its mark. It's going to get rid of all three monsters. And he's so close to being able to win this duel right here. Gets his opponent down to 700 life points, but he can't pull it off. And he has that trade-in in his hand. I think he might want to rip that trade-in and uh, get some new cards. He is going to rip that trade-in. Purple Dust gets sent bye-bye. Maxi is chained before he even summons anything. That's a wise move. But now you guys know the Grinder Golem shenanigans are basically going to start and uh, he goes for Akashik you guys know <laughs> once you go Akashik you bounce grind a golem summon it again he's going to take a little bit of a different route and you'll see why in a second goes for proxy goes for deco talker and wouldn't you know he ends up winning the duel at first I kept looking at I, I want to know how many people actually thought that he was going for deck out there because like when the duel ended I was like wait what he's <laughs> I thought he was trying to go for like an FT or excuse me an OTK or something like that but he ends up decking its opponent out and I know you guys probably weren't looking at how many cards his opponent had in his hand before he basically summoned this turn so let me go ahead and give you guys a recap because I thought he was going to summon like firewall dragon and go for you know a bunch of looping before the max C guys he had 14 cards in his deck. That's why uh, he didn't go for, like, Firewall Dragon. He went for a whole bunch of other little monsters with, like, Link Kariba. I mean, special summoning 14 times. Now, granted, the Jack Knights themselves are all special summons. There's no real normal summoning in Jack Knights for the most part. But still, man, being able to summon uh, your boy Grinder Golem that many times. It was just a very strange way for the duel to end. And then he had Downbeat, which I guess was another special summon. But I don't know, man. I feel like they got to get this card out of Yugi because he definitely would not have been able to deck his opponent out and I don't think he would have been able to win this duel because he had to get through a deco talker that was 3300 he wouldn't have been able to use like any of the he would like red lotus wouldn't have done anything because you know red lotus targets it's the, the deco talker probably would have been able to just win him the duel backed by max c and the tokens so I don't know sometimes Yu-Gi-Oh wasn't fair guys anyways if you guys enjoyed the video uh let me know in the comment section below why or thumbs up the video thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already turn on those notifications for daily videos and yes i think i i have almost every single thing except a couple of pieces for my first irl deck profile it's coming boys it's coming